His headlong rush though, four times effective. Iron Jugulus even in... Hello everybody, Ace Trainer Liam here and welcome back to another episode of Metro Mania. We are halfway through the quarterfinals of Season 13 already. We already know our first semi-final is going to be the showdown between Slitherwing and Miraidon, but we have one more semi-final match to set up. And of course, we need to find out who the first competitor in that battle is going to be. And we'll find that out today as Iron Moth takes on Iron Jugulus. Now here we go, it's Iron Jugulus jumping onto the field and of course Iron Moth floating in as well, looking like a ruddy buggy space station, isn't it? Here comes Shiny Iron Moth to start things off with Mountain Gale. That's going to be super effective, big damage to that Iron Jugulus there being a flying type. Now over to the regular Iron Moth who's going to fire off an Ice Fang, which is also super effective into Shiny Iron Jugulus there. And the flinch on Shiny Iron Jugulus and the flinch on the regular, they got the double flinch, that's amazing. I don't think that's ever happened in Metromania in 13 seasons. Here's a Meteor Mash onto the Iron Jugulus. And Iron Moth gets the attack boost as well. Is there anything that can go wrong for this team right now? They're on, they're lit, pun intended, they're on fire. And there's the Aqua Jet, which isn't as good. It's not really that effective. So well done. It's a, it's a neutral move and it doesn't do much because you're not a physical attacker. So well done, you ruined it. Steel Roller though, speaking of ruining things, Steel Roller with no terrain in play. Bad move there for the shiny Iron Jugulus. But now over to the regular Iron Jugulus for the Fury Swipes. Are we going to get the five? We get one and two. Hit subscribe and find out how many Fury Swipes there are. To press the bell and everything to guarantee there'll be four hits, not five. That's your fault you didn't subscribe quick enough. So click that bell and never miss an Ace Trainer Liam video. Here's a dual wing beat though onto the Iron Jugulus from the regular Iron Moth there, bringing it down into the danger zone. And now the follow-up from the shiny Iron Moth. See, I know how these turns work. How great is that? The Iron Moth team is faster. Stomping Tantrum is not going to do anything to a flying type, you silly, silly bumhole. And now we have the shiny Iron Jugulus with a super effective Whirlpool into Iron Moth. Not much damage, but is going to slowly wear away at that Iron Moth going forward in this battle. And now regular Iron Jugulus is going to go for Rock Tomb. Shades of uh, our good old friend Bellatrix the Corefish. Anyone remember that reference? For some people, that'll just be stupid. Drops the speed of shiny Iron Moth by a stage and the Whirlpool damage damages the regular Iron Moth there once again. And Iron Moth is going to go for Scorching Sands. That's going to be avoided by the flying type Pokemon on the other side of the field, you silly billy. And now sh uh, regular Iron Jugulus is going to go for Speed Swap because it wants to become the fastest thing on the field, I guess, because that it just swapped its speed with the fastest Pokemon. That's how Speed Swap works, mate. Here comes the shiny Iron Jugulus with Super Sonic, but it doesn't connect. Iron Moth avoids it. Super Sonic's accuracy is tragic. Now over to the shiny Iron Moth, who's going to fire off Accel Rock for some super effective damage, bringing shiny Iron Jugulus down to less than half its max HP. There's more Whirlpool damage onto regular Iron Moth. And now Iron Jugulus probably smells blood in the water right here. Goes for Esper Wing, which will be super effective on the shiny Iron Moth, not enough to take it down though. 17 hit points left. Its speed went up another stage, so it's definitely the fastest thing on the field now. Regular Iron Moth goes for a wing attack though. It doesn't matter how much speed you've got if you're knocked out. Goodbye, regular Iron Jugulus. I wonder if I've been calling Iron Jugulus Iron Moth occasionally. Probably. Let me know in the comments. You always do. Here's Headlong Rush though. Four times effective. Shiny Iron Jugulus evening things up. Down goes its defense one stage and special defense as a result, but regular Iron Moth is out of here. We're down to just two Pokemon on the field to get the first fall. Who's going to get the first fall in this round, in this opening round of the quarterfinal? Frenzy Plant onto the shiny iron jugulus there doesn't quite get the knockout so over to shiny iron jugulus what will it do in response goes for night slash you've got to think same type attack bonus critical hit down goes iron moth and let's hear from our sponsors oh would you look at that liam's here again and he's drinking bloody g fuel today on my g fuel menu i have the lovely fantastic mango lemonade i'm so happy electric shop brought us this flavor because it's so friggin good it's beautiful it's sweet, it's refreshing, it's bloody lovely. Oh, and the best part is you can use code ACE to help support this channel while saving yourself a massive 20% off your G Fuel order. That's an entire fifth off your order just by using code ACE to help support us. Remember though, G Fuel is for over 18s only because it contains caffeine and children don't need to be anywhere near caffeine. They're annoying enough as it is and because it contains caffeine, drink it responsibly. Don't be a dickhead, dickhead. 
So going into round two, Iron Jugulus in the lead, one to zero. The Iron Moth team need to capitalize if they want to stay in the competition and go to the uh, semi-finals. We get Fling from regular Iron Moth onto the Dark type Iron Jugulus for not very effective damage. Barely did anything. The Leopard Berry doesn't really give much base power and it does nothing for Iron Jugulus either because it's not used a move yet. Here's a neutral X scissor onto Iron Jugulus, but again, it's a physical attack, so Iron Jugulus can eat the those up, especially from an Iron Moth. Here's a rapid spin from Shiny Iron Jugular. It's going to do a bit of chip damage there to Shiny Iron Moth and raise its own speed by one stage. And now regular Iron Jugular is going to follow up with self-destruct. That's a brave play right there. Massive damage though. Not that much damage to Shiny Iron Jugular, but to both the Iron Moth puts them both down less than half their max HP. Shiny Iron Jugular now looking to capitalize on that. Goes for safeguard. I guess it doesn't want to take any, uh, any um, what do you call it, status conditions. It doesn't want to take any attacks right now, to be fair, with two opponents on the field. Iron Moth though goes for a horn drill and lands it. So that guarantees we'll go into a third round out of nowhere. One hit KO. Down goes Shiny Iron Jugular. And now they're back onto the field for round three. That was quick. What was that? Two turns or something? Good grief. Here comes Shiny Iron Moth starting off round three with the power trick. Going to swap its attack and defense stats, which arguably are both garbage. So it's not really that big of a deal. But actually unbelievable. We're in a third round so quickly. I can't even catch my breath. There's a blaze kick. Did a great chunk of damage considering it was from an Iron Moth. Of course, that same type of attack bonus comes in handy. Here's a Focus Blast. It's going to be resisted by Iron Moth. Doesn't do much damage, but it's still chip damage. Any damage is better than no damage, right? Both these teams vying in this round. Here's a Dragon Pulse from the uh, Iron Jugulus onto the Shiny Iron Moth there. They're both vying for this place in the semi-finals. And it, uh, both teams have a win. So it's whoever wins this round goes through. Here's a Dragon Dance. From Shiny Iron Moth, bringing its attack up, bringing its speed up. It wants to do as much damage as it possibly can, although with its attack stats, it's probably not going to do that anyway. Here's Powder Snow, though, super effective on both the Iron Jugulus there from the regular Iron Moth. And now regular Iron Jugulus is going to go for Cut, the old Ash Ketchum Froakie use Cut. Why did he teach his Froakie Cut? I'll never know. That old chestnut cut, right. Here's a fire spin. It's going to be avoided by Shiny Iron Moth, so Shiny Iron Jugglers' turn is kind of wasted. So now Shiny Iron Moth has an opening and goes for Drain Punch for some neutral damage and a little bit of self-preservation with that HP restoration at the same time. Uh, over to the Shiny Iron Jugulus to respond there. Oh, no, wait. No, it's had its energy drained. I am I am jumping way ahead, I guess. Here's a work up, increasing the attack, and most importantly, the special attack of the regular Iron Moth there. That's going to be a very dangerous Pokemon going forward. So now Shiny Iron Jugulus needs to do something, hopefully, to neutralize that Pokemon. Goes for a Poison Fang. That won't do it. You can't even poison it, mate. You absolute silly billy. So now Iron Jugulus... Going to respond with Power Whip. That's four times resisted, so that's barely even going to tickle Iron Moth there. At least they both targeted into the same Pokemon, just with garbage attacks. Here's an Encore from Shiny Iron Moth. That's going to fail because it does not work in Metronome Battles. So now Iron Moth needs to try and make up for that mistake, and it's going to go for an Agility, which I think is a bit of a wasted move because there's not really much point when you're the fastest thing on the field. Your speed goes up two stages. Okay, you're faster than your partner, I guess. Now here's Iron Jugulus, who's going to go for a super effective liquidation into Shiny Iron Moth, who's left at 28 hit points. And Shiny Iron Jugulus with the follow-up is going to go for Ice Spinner into which Pokemon? Into the regular Iron Moth there for some not very effective damage. Didn't even take it down into the orange. Iron Moth replies in kind with Psy Shock, but it doesn't affect the dark type Iron Jugulus. So Shiny Iron Jugulus lives to fight another day. Shiny Iron Moth now getting ready with its metronome and it's going to go for Encore again. It doesn't work and it won't work if you keep trying it. Two turns in a row. Has that ever friggin' happened? in Metromania. Here's Hypnosis. It's gonna fail, though. It was avoided by Iron Moth there, so sad times for Iron Jugulus, but Shiny Iron Jugulus, can it have more luck? It goes for Flower Trick, Shades of Meow Scarada. It's a guaranteed critical hit, but it's four times resisted, so uh, Shiny Iron Moth lives on 17 hit points. Now the uh, regular Iron Moth here getting ready with a Hydro Pump. Oh, but it's avoided by Iron Jugulus. That would have been amazingly powerful with the plus one special attack as well off on Iron Moth. Here's a Lava Plume, though, for some big damage. Puts both shine, both the Iron Jugulus in the danger zone there. Does a little bit of damage, I believe, to the, uh, the, the, the 
other Iron Moth as well. But the regular Iron Jugulus is burned, so this Thunderfang is only going to do half the damage it could and leaves Shiny Iron Moth on one hit point because it couldn't quite get the job done. Last Resort is going to fail from Shiny Iron Jugulus. It always fails in Metronome battles. There's the burn damage. Regular Iron Jugulus probably has like one more move left in it before it faints to that burn. Iron Moth is going to go for Sing, and that misses. It's a... Uh, oh, it failed. It failed. Wait, why did it fail? Why did Sing fail? Oh, because it's... I, I actually don't know why that failed. Tell me later. Gunk Shot into regular Iron Jugulus is going to take it down. There's just one Iron Jugulus left against both of these Iron Moth, but Shiny Iron Moth is sitting on 17 hit points, so it's in a dangerous place. Speed Swap, though. Going to swap speed with the fastest thing on the field. Not a bad shout from Shiny Iron Jugulus. It'll be able to start the next turn ahead of the Iron Moth team. Here's an Axe Kick, though, and it takes out Shiny Iron Jugulus as I get a text message and realize that my phone is not turned off. Shiny, both the, the Iron Moth go through to the semi-finals. That's amazing for that team. Condolences, commiserations to the, uh, the the Iron Jugulus team. We'll find out their opponent, Iron Moth's opponent, next week for the semi-finals when Iron Hands takes on Iron Valiant. And let's just say a massive thank you to our wonderful Ace Trainer Ultra XL members who are Bro Metapod, Purple Dragonair, Ghost Lupin, Sin City Yeti, Mumbai Cobra, Gear Overlord, Toy Bonnie, TJ the Nerd, Night Angel, Lucas Gates, Kingly Gamer YT, Viridian Falk, and Poke Trainer Dean. Thank you all so much for your massive support on this channel so that'll do it for another episode of metromania i hope you enjoyed Woo! it if you did hit the like button if you're new hit the subscribe button share the video with a friend click the join button to become a channel member and of course remember to use code ace for 20 percent off your g fuel order and of course come and hang out on my live streams that'll be really fun we do those five days a week right here on this channel but until next time i'm ace trainer liam keep on training